Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. We have three stories for you this week. The first one is two people ejected from a MiG-23 during an air show. The video is pretty impressive. Uh, 1,200, that's what, 1,200 Pratt & Whitney engines are being recalled. And then lastly, an update on the runway incursion that happened in San Diego. Let's get to it. All right, your first story this week is kind of a scary one. Two people ejected from a MiG-23 at the Michigan Air Show. Uh, there were minor injuries to the pilot and the passenger during the ejection, and both of them were transported to the hospital. Uh, the jet crashed into a parking lot, destroying a number of cars, but missing a nearby apartment building. Uh, when you see the pictures, it's actually kind of scary how close they got. Um, there were no injuries on the ground, thankfully. Uh, both the FA and the NTSB are investigating the accident, but we'll keep you posted if we hear more. Uh, I'm actually really sad about this. We saw that aircraft at um, at Oshkosh a couple of weeks ago, and uh, and I think we're pretty sure we saw it at Sun and Fun as well, flying around. And uh, it's always sad to see one of these aircraft go down, uh, especially when they're fairly rare uh, now in the U.S. All right, your second story this week is a big one for the airlines. Uh, 1,200 Pratt & Whitney geared turbofans are being recalled after they found microscopic contaminants inside of the metal that was being used in the engine. Uh, the engines are going to affect the A320neo aircraft, uh, meaning that in the US, the airlines affected are going to be Spirit, JetBlue, Hawaiian, and Wizz Airline. Uh, many of these carriers also like the internal maintenance programs, meaning that there will be a traffic jam of aircraft that need to get uh, into the maintenance shop. Uh, additionally, there is some limited amount of replacement, uh, further complicating the repair and the replacements. Uh, according to Spirit, they said that the engine turnaround time is taking three times the normal time, resulting in a massive loss of profit, I'm sure, for them. Uh, think about it, 1,200 engine, probably around 600 aircraft that would be affected in this case. So we'll keep you posted if we see anything else, but uh, uh, I'm going to expect some delay in some of these airlines. All right, finally, we've got some more information about a runway incursion incident that resulted in about a 100 feet separation between a Cessna Citation XLS and then a Southwest Airlines uh, Boeing 737. Uh, according to the audio tapes, it looks like both of the aircraft were given a clearance. Uh, the XLS was clear to land and the 737 was clear to taxi onto the runway and do uh, position and hold. Uh, the automated surveillance system alerted ATC that uh, this was a dangerous situation. And then upon asking, the XLS crew uh, was told to go around. Interestingly, the XLS crew had reached out to ATC first, but they were stepped on uh, when they were talking, so that communication never made it to the controller. Uh, the 737 exited the runway after that because, well, there was an air, another aircraft coming on final. Uh, the FAA is currently investigating, but uh, if you ask me, this is way too many of these runway incursion or, well, not really uh, runway. It, I guess it is a runway incursion in this case, but way too many of these issues uh, as of late. And, um, well, something need, needs to be done. All right, that's it. Uh, have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.